Hey everybody, just wanted to make a quick video on how to avoid some of the more common attack skill types in the game without using a defense or your character's unique dodge, such as swords, non-sword short range skills, mostly they're just key skills, holes, rain, some parabolas. First one we'll be uh, discussing is swords. Uh, one of the more important skills to learn how to avoid is a sword type. There are a variety of sword skills in the game that have very slight differences. Most of the skills in the game swing from left to right or right to left. If a sword starts a swing from the right and then swings left, then you want to rotate around your opponent clockwise. If the sword starts from the left and then swings right, then you want to rotate counterclockwise. Here are just a few examples, and remember all the directions will be in relation to our character. Be careful, some of the swords have a sweet spot that are determined by the distance, so try to stay close to your opponent when attempting to dodge the sword for a better chance, but not too close. The next type of skill that we're going to learn how to dodge is whole type skills such as Earthquake, Jackpot, Disintegration, Impact Geyser. This is the skill type that I see very many people get scared as soon as they see it pop up underneath their feet. They'll either roll or jump into it. It's not bad once you figure out how it works. Once the whole skill is triggered under your feet, it keeps track of the direction and the speed you were moving at at the time the skill is activated. That means if I was running left when the skill was activated, it will continue to move left at the same speed I was moving when it activated. To avoid the move entirely, move the opposite direction of where you were originally running when the skill activated and the hole will continue to follow your original movement and you won't need to worry about having to roll or jump. Reins are for the most part fairly easy to avoid. Just keep moving away from the rain skill or have a low ceiling above your head. There are a few rains that do go through obstacles, but these are just avoided the same way the rest of them are. Just keep running away from them. There's one specific rain, however, that I want to discuss because it's put in the quick game mode and I see people get hit by it constantly and that's Killer Satellite. This is a special case rain where it suffers the same disadvantages of a hole and a rain. Killer Satellite tracks like a hole skill, but attacks from above like a rain skill. With that information, we can either dodge the move like a hole, or by standing under a low ceiling. The dot on the ground is what you want to be under a ceiling if you choose to stand under something to avoid it. If you don't, then this could happen. It's much easier to just treat Killer Satellite like a whole skill and dodge it like other whole skills. Next one is most key skill, any short range non sword like skill. For the majority of them, like high speed punch, hyper kick, psycho burst, all you gotta do is rotate around your opponent in any direction. Just keep moving around your opponent in that same direction. Clockwise, counterclockwise, doesn't matter. Try to stay close to them when you do this. The closer you are, the easier it is to dodge. Just be careful for fast, very spammable moves like high speed punch. Eventually they'll end up catching up to you as you're rotating around them. And the last one, parabolas. Uh, they're a bit trickier to explain because some fall faster, slower, others have better homing, others don't home. Parabolas, any skill that travels in an overhead arcing motion such as bomb, big bomb, psycho spear, just to name a few. Usually the best method to avoiding these is to ensure that you continue to run in the same direction perpendicular to your opponent.
one of the key things to ensure you are already running perpendicular before your opponent throws a parabola. Do not attempt to switch directions after a projectile has left the opponent's hand. Some parabolas will home in on you much easier. Seems like some parabolas have wider tracking cones than others. For the most part though, just running in a perpendicular direction to your opponent prior to them throwing the skill, you should have a much easier time avoiding the move entirely. That's it for the video guys, hope you learned something new. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more Phantom Dust content. Take care.